Scientists have made an extraordinary discovery using NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, Supernova H0 Pay, a rare gravitationally lensed type Ia supernova. This is not just another cosmic explosion, it's providing researchers with a powerful new tool to measure the expansion rate of the universe, known as the Hubble constant. Even more exciting, this discovery could help resolve the long standing debate in cosmology referred to as the Hubble tension. But what makes supernova H0 pay so significant, and how does it contribute to our understanding of the universe's expansion? In this article, we'll explore the groundbreaking discovery of supernova H0 pay. Supernova H0 pay is a unique supernova observed through a phenomenon called gravitational lensing. Gravitational lensing occurs when a massive object, like a galaxy cluster, bends the light from a more distant object, creating multiple images of that distant object. In this case, the galaxy cluster PLCKK, located 3.6 billion light years away, acted as a lens, splitting the light of a supernova in a galaxy far behind it into three distinct images. This effect is highly valuable for astronomers as it allows them to observe objects that would otherwise be too faint or distant to study in detail. What makes supernova H0 pay even more fascinating is that it's a type Ia supernova, a type of exploding star with a predictable brightness. These supernovae, often referred to as standard candles, are crucial tools for measuring distances across the universe, helping us understand how fast it's expanding. But how did astronomers discover this supernova? In 2015, the Hubble Space Telescope captured images of the same galaxy cluster, but no supernova was present. Fast forward to 2023, when the James Webb Telescope's guaranteed time observations for the PEARLS program took images of the cluster. The team noticed three dots of light not visible in Hubble's images and suspected they had discovered a new supernova. Once the data arrived, a team led by Brenda Fry from the University of Arizona confirmed that the dots were indeed a supernova much farther away than the galaxy cluster itself. The gravitational lensing split the supernova's light into three images, giving astronomers a view of the same star exploding at three different moments in time. Thus, supernova H0 Pei was born. Type Ia supernovae are incredibly reliable for measuring the universe's expansion due to their predictable nature. These explosions occur when a white dwarf star, the remnant of a smaller star that has exhausted its nuclear fuel, accretes material from a companion star. Once it reaches a critical mass, the white dwarf undergoes a thermonuclear explosion, releasing a consistent amount of energy. Supernova H0 Pei fits this model perfectly. Astronomers can accurately determine its distance by measuring how much its light has dimmed on its journey to Earth. This brings us to the Hubble constant, a key parameter that describes the universe's expansion rate. To measure it, astronomers need two pieces of information, the distance to faraway galaxies and their speed of recession. Type Ia supernovae provide the distance, while redshift, the stretching of light caused by cosmic expansion, reveals the velocity. However, a discrepancy known as the Hubble tension has emerged between different measurements of the Hubble constant. Local measurements, including those using supernovae, tend to yield a value around 73 km per second per megaparsec. However, observations of the early universe, such as those from the Cosmic Microwave Background, CMB, measured by the Planck satellite, suggest a lower value of about 67 km per second per megaparsec. This difference has been one of cosmology's greatest challenges. Supernova H0 Pei contributes another layer to this debate by providing an independent method of measuring the expansion rate through gravitational lensing. However, this isn't the first lensed supernova to weigh in on the discussion. Other discoveries, like IPTF16GEU and SN Refstel, also used gravitational lensing to refine measurements of the Hubble constant. 
but Supernova H0 Pay stands out for the precision of its measurements, thanks to the advanced instruments of the James Webb Telescope. The initial measurement of the Hubble constant from Supernova H0 Pay, 75.4 km per second per megaparsec, still shows some tension with values from the early universe, bringing us closer to resolving this long-standing issue. Theoretical models to address the Hubble tension include self-interacting dark matter, SIDM, where dark matter particles interact with each other, influencing cosmic expansion measurements. Another theory involves evolving dark energy, the force driving the accelerated expansion of the universe. Changes in dark energy's behavior over time could explain the discrepancy between local and early universe measurements. Additionally, modified gravity theories, like modified Newtonian dynamics, MOND, propose that gravity behaves differently on cosmic scales than predicted by general relativity. These adjustments could reconcile the differences in Hubble constant measurements without invoking dark energy or dark matter as primary factors.